Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Friday, October 18th, 2024, the weekend starter. Guys, let me know in the comments below what your picks are for tonight, for this weekend. All is welcome as we remain red hot. Wager Talks, hottest pick show. Yesterday going 3-0 and on the Thursday card, 100% plus three units. That brings... Drew's Daily Diamond recap, 31 and 13 overall run, guys, plus 16.42 units on the run, guys. I, I, you know, it's not minus 140, minus 150. I hate saying this, but it's important. You know, it's, sometimes it is, but we're we're including the VIG in that, guys. So $100 better up, $1,642. Heck of a run. Looking to keep it going here on Friday. It's not what we've done. It's what we're going to do, and we're looking to grab some more winners here on tonight's college football slate, starting us off. ACC ESPN2 nationally televised game, 7 p.m. Eastern primetime, FSU and Duke. It's the Seminoles going up against the Blue Devils here in Durham. Duke, minus three-point home favorites, 42 in the hook, being the total. Wallace Wade Stadium is sold out. Should be a, a raucous atmosphere for Duke standards, but still, should be a fun one to watch. Both teams come in off of the bye. Florida State, guys, Obviously hasn't been a good season for them. I mean, they're going to need to kind of almost win out here to make a bowl game, which not a lot of people had coming into the season. But they did make the quarterback change. And I wasn't a huge fan of DJU, their original starting quarterback. So I actually have him circled. It's kind of looked to bet on here. And sure enough, redshirt freshman Brett Glenn comes in. He threw two touchdowns against Clemson. And he has a bye week to kind of work on the things with the, the number one offense the number one offensive guys. So I actually think this might be a spot to jump on the Seminoles. I mean, let's be real. If this isn't the spot to jump on them, they're fade city the rest of the way. So, you know, the time is now for the Knowles. FSU has won 22 straight games over Duke in all but one by more than 18 points. So they've absolutely dominated this series. You, you know, top to bottom of the roster, there's more highly recruited guys on Florida State side. And then you look at Duke. Yes, the record looks sexy. However, their last game out against Georgia Tech, they lost by double digits, and it was a complete domination. I mean, they got outrushed like three to one by the Yellow Jackets, and the time of possession was two to one. So, man, it was a rough game for Duke in that one. And their strength of schedule otherwise, the Georgia Tech, in my opinion, was probably the best team they played. Maybe Northwestern, who they did beat in overtime. What That was over a month ago. Other than that, there's just not a lot of meat on the bone. It's Middle Tennessee State, Elon, the Phoenix, uh, UConn, UNC. I don't think either of those two teams are up to, uh, you know, top-notch standards. So I actually think FSU plus three, I think they win outright. If you want to uh, sprinkle some on the money line, I'm not going to talk you off of it. But for the show, we're putting the field goal in our pocket. We're jumping on the Seminoles to start us off Friday Night Lights. We got 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Pacific up next on Fox, nationally televised game here. It's Oregon and Purdue heading to the Big Ten Conference, 60 being the total. Oregon right now, minus 29, minus 29 and a half even as the road favorite. Terrible spot for the Ducks. I mean, this is about as bad as it gets. One of the biggest wins of all of the college football season was Oregon over Ohio State in that tough nut, tough that tough matchup they had against against Ohio State. And, you know, knocking off the Buckeyes, uh, great win overall. I think Oregon, their future in college football, uh, they're probably going to make the playoff. Uh, who knows? They could win the national championship. But for this game, I'm really not looking to ask them to, to win by 30 points, guys. I, I kind of like Purdue in this matchup. We got to bring up the trend in the Big Ten Conference expansion. And teams traveling two plus time zones are now just four and nine against the spread. That's something to pay attention to here because now they have a short week off after that big win, traveling the two time zones. I think that really points towards Purdue. Granted, Purdue's what lost five straight. They are off of their best performance, though. Just last week, they were at Illinois in Champaign. They were down in the game and they come all the way back. And they only lose by one point. They lost 49 to 50 in overtime. And something to watch here, we talk about quarterback change. Changing as a sports better is one of the best 
ways to win, like find change and go from that point forward, either bet on or bet against teams or totals wise, if that's the case. But the redshirt freshman quarterback in his first start, he threw for just under 300 yards and over 120 rush yards. So love those stats. I mean, that's against Big Ten competition. And I mean, Purdue's offense has never been hotter. I mean, it, it's tough to get colder, I guess, but 46 points after halftime. So 46 points in the second half and overtime in their last game. Boilermakers kind of eh, is the hottest they can get. I mean, Boilermakers making it hot here. Plus 29 and a hook is out there, guys. Talking in the overnight hour. What about 8 p.m. Pacific here the night before? Let's jump on the Boilermakers at home. Plus 29 and a hook. Staying within 30 points of the Oregon Ducks in our second game. Got the three-pack coming to you Friday night lights. I'll be back tomorrow with the Saturday college football slate on Drew's Daily Diamond. And also, don't forget about the Sunday NFL slate, guys. So smash that like button, comment below. We got one game left. But always am interested in uh, what you guys have to say here. Where you agree, where you disagree in the comments below. What you're looking to bet. I'll be in there chiming away with you. If you're interested in premium picks, Hey, now's the time to jump on board. Wagertalk.com. Drew Martin got a 5% max limit play up. We're undefeated this week with client plays. It's uh, It's been a heck of a run. 7-0-1 this week. It, we got one pending now. I'm not going to get into it, but I, 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 I'm i feeling good about that one as well. So we got the Saturday card coming in and uh, Sunday as well. So if you want the 7-day all-access, 30-day all-access, you can buy the rest of the year. Or you can buy next year, get the rest of this year free. So if uh, if you're into those bulk buying, you can get huge savings there. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin, the max limit going tonight. All right, last game up, 10-15 Eastern, 7-15 Pacific on ESPN. We're heading to a little altitude here in Provo, Utah. We get Oklahoma State at BYU, 52 being the total. The Cougars, minus nine point home favorites oklahoma state comes in losing three straight both straight up and against the spread and they haven't scored more than 21 points in any of those games that's kind of head scratching here for where this cowboys offense program you know offensively has been under mike gundy two of those losses came by 20 plus points so they really weren't competitive in them they're averaging less than 80 yards on the ground per game So they're having all kinds of problems on the offensive line, getting a push there, and their defense has really not been great either. Their opponents are averaging over 100 yards. Their opponents are getting 100 yards more than their opponents average offensively against the Oklahoma State defense. I love that stat, and Oklahoma State has really struggled in that one. So they're almost like not bet right now. Now they are off of a bye week. So if you were looking for change in that, I mean, they're like, we're likely going to see a little bit different of a squad here from Mike Gundy, but I don't know guys. I mean, until I see something different with my own eyes on the field, I'm not looking to bet on Oklahoma state. So that brings us to the BYU side. Uh, BYU is rattled off some wins here. I mean, six and zero, oh, six and zero oh against the spread too. They're one of the most profitable teams in the country. Them and army really, they got the number one pass defense and their last loss going back to last season. They, I mean, they, they've won out since they played Oklahoma State. So kind of, I'm not a big revenge guy, but in this situation, I mean, you know, the, the only loss that they've tasted is Oklahoma State last year. So I'm looking to ride that streak. Ride the hot, fade the cold is the situation here on the nightcap for the show. It's BYU minus nine over Oklahoma State. So a three-pack Drew's Daily Diamond. Of course, there's four games on the college football slate. The other one is the 5% max limit, wagertalk.com. If you want to check that out, we got the premium packages, the all-access packages. Uh, I would push you in that route, guys. But uh, either way, you know, feel free to come back tomorrow. It's uh, giving it all out for free here, guys. And it's been a heck of a run, 31-13 and 13 plus 16.42 unit run here on the show looking to keep it going guys in recap we got byu minus nine purdue plus 29 and a hook against oregon the ducks and we got fsu leading us off plus the field goal against duke so i'm drew martin checking out guys enjoy the rest of your friday night uh we'll be back for saturday's show so come back and join us until then cash those tickets thanks for tuning in